Elon Musk has always been known for his inclination towards electric cars, and Tesla is definitely a reality for the dreams he would have seen in his younger days. Welcome to Elon Musk Unwind. A few days ago Elon Musk sat for an interview with Tesla owner Silicon Valley where he discussed the importance of electric vehicles. What gave you the vision first off uh, to even step into electric vehicles? I think you made a comment one time you were on a date or something like yeah. that. You asked the girl like... I guess she, she wasn't sure it was the date to be frank. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, yeah, when I, uh, it was actually with Christy Nicholson who's a writer for Scientific American. Um, and uh, I guess it was like sort of a semi-date, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> We went out to dinner, I guess. So, and I was talking about electric cars a lot. So I think I was like 20 years old. Um, and um, yeah, so I asked her some question like, "Do you think about electric cars?" She's like, "No, I don't think about them at all." I said, "I think about them a lot." <laughs> <laughs> so, did it, was there more questions after that, or was that a <laughs> that was the end of the date? <laughs> no, I mean, um, yeah, we're still friends today. Actually, oh, I think cool. she's coming by at Austin in, in a few months or something. Okay, um, so. Very cool. I've been thinking about uh, electric cars since I was basically in high school. Um, you know, it's, it's just kind of the thing that is like the, the thing that is sort of kind of the way cars should be if you can just solve range. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not like if you think about it, like an internal combustion engine car, um, it requires a battery and a starter motor just to get started. So it requires an electric motor and a battery just yeah. to get started. Yeah. And then there's this incredible kind of Rube Goldberg contraption that all has to work uh, in order for you to get motion. Uh, and then most of what you're, what you're producing with fuel is heat. So you've mm. got to get rid of the heat. Yep. And then you've got to process the toxic gases. And, and uh, you know, there's a limit to how well you can process the toxic gases. So um, it's, it's sort of an odd, uh, an odd thing. The, the internal combustion car. I and mean, people will look back on, on, on the internal combustion car era as, as a strange time. Yeah. Um, quaint. Quaint, yeah. Quaint. And um, quaint and, and, and just weird, basically. Um, so, you know, it's sort of we look back on the external combustion era of steam engines as quaint. You know, this big steam engine chopping and shoveling the coal and stuff. And you're like, well, you wouldn't really get around like that today. Unless, yeah. You know, it's sort of like more of a niche thing in a, you know, some amusement park or, mm -hmm. you know, trip down memory lane situation. But, but like, you, it would be like weird if you're like shoveling coal in, into <laughs> today's world. <laughs> yeah, shoveling cold, coal, coal into an external combustion steam engine to get around. I mean, it would be like, well, that's pretty weird. Um, and that's how they will view, the future will view uh, internal combustion, the same way external combustion is viewed right. today. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, so the, the issue really, uh, the only thing holding, holding electric cars back was range. And, and um, the fundamentals of energy density uh, determine, d d mean that um, if you have a lead acid based, battery based car, um, your range is optimistically going to, it's, it's going to be like maybe 70 miles, 80 miles if you really are quite good. Um, then uh, if you get, if you go to something like nickel metal hydride, you've got uh, twice the energy density. Mm. Um, so that's going to give you, with the same massive pack, somewhere around maybe 160 miles. Um, and then uh, if you go to uh, lithium ion, and there's many varieties of lithium ion, L lithium ion is an incredibly broad description. Mm -hmm. um, but without having to go to a super advanced lithium ion, you can get to a 300 mile range pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, with the same weight. So you're going to get uh, roughly four, four times the, the energy density of, uh, of lead acid. Uh, five if you go to advanced uh, uh, lithium ion. And as you go to more advanced lithium ions, more refinement, the cost goes up to further refine it. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. So the, the difficulty of getting to, it, as, as you get to a high energy density, um, a lithium ion, you need to um, change the anode uh, to um, silicon. So you, you get a dramatic increase in energy density as you switch the anode to silicon. But the problem with silicon is that uh, it expands and contracts a, a lot uh, during, during charge and discharge. So, and, and in that expansion and contraction, uh, it, it wants to kind of crumble. And so, uh, like mud cracks, essentially, mm -hmm. uh, is one way to think about it. Yeah. Um, 
So the, the problem with a, a pure silicon uh, anode is that it's very difficult to have it uh, stay together uh, between, when you charge and discharge it. So then one of the things you can do is to add silicon to the carbon in the, in the a typical anode. So a car carbon uh, just, just has only very minor expansion contraction. Um, so it's easy to, to maintain a carbon anode uh, and have its structure be uh, robust across many charge cycles. Mm. And then you can throw a little bit of silicon in there, uh, and the silicon can kind of expand and contract inside the carbon matrix. But as you start adding more silicon, it gets harder and harder to ha maintain um, the uh, structure of the anode. Yeah. Yes. Um, so our our highest energy density cells will use, um, I don't know, like 90% carbon, maybe 10% silicon or something like that. Okay, so it's a small percentage. It's a small yeah. percentage. Um, and the, the silicon, you, you, you will have a bit, a bit more early life degradation in range with silicon. So, uh, it, it, so it, it, just, it, does, it does get hotter. There, there are uh, much higher energy density uh, cells you can get uh, where if, if you have very precise cons construction of the anode, uh, like with a, like a chemical vapor, vapor deposition type process, and you, you sort of print it almost like a circuit board situation, uh, such that the expansion can, it can expand and contract uh, without cracking, uh, then uh, you can get to uh, like 50% higher yeah. energy density than we have in our cars. Mm -hmm. But that is still, that's very expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it might be suitable for long range aircraft, but it would not be economically feasible for cars. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, the, the, that, that situation, um, that's, the, that's really the only thing holding back electric cars yeah. is range. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and please do extend your support by subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.